See this rubber band right here? It is one of the most effective tools a business leader can have. And I don't mean just to hold stuff together, and I'll explain it to you shortly. I have been often told that I am unreasonable. And I think people say that, and they think that I feel some kind of way about it or that they're hurting my feelings, but I know that one of the key traits of a visionary and a leader is being, you guessed it, unreasonable. In the book of Ephesians, the Bible tells us that God can do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or think according to the power to work within you. We must realize that the only ones who can limit God is in fact us or you. It is the job of a leader to see what seems impossible and stretch towards it. Take the Wright brothers, for example. Orville Wright said it this way. Isn't it astonishing that all these secrets have been hidden for so many years just so we could uncover them? And of course, he created the first airplane. Leaders must push towards the unbelievable. The impossible has to become so real in them that others will think they are being what? Unreasonable. The world of possibilities are awaiting us all. So many secrets have been hidden for us. All you have to do is dare to believe. The pantheon of success is dominated by unreasonable people. Vincent van Gogh only sold one painting while he was alive and almost starved to death. Beethoven composed five of the best love symphonies of all time, even when he was going deaf. <laughs> it was unreasonable to think that a runner could jump 26 feet 8 inches. It had never been done before for the first 35 years of the Olympics, but Jesse Owens did it, and his record stood for another 25 years. Honestly, nobody thinks anything could be done until someone does it. No one thought that minorities would enjoy the same civil rights as the majority until a man named Martin Luther King ransomed his life for the cause. Martin Luther King penned this from a Birmingham jail, and he said this, I must confess, I am not afraid of the word tension. I have earnestly opposed violent tension, but there is a type of constructive, nonviolent tension which is necessary for growth. Just as Socrates felt that it was necessary to create a tension in the mind of individuals so that the individual could rise above bondage of the myths and half-truths to the unfettered realm of creative analysis and objective appraisal." End quote. A rubber band is needed solely for the purpose of tension. That's its job. It's the tension that gives the rubber band purpose. When we stretch the rubber band, it creates tension. Most people do not like tension and immediately seek to resolve the tension. Here's the problem. On our team, we know that if either a problem to solve or a tension to manage, some situations cannot be solved. They have to be managed. Great stress and pain come from people trying to solve what needs to be managed, and it's very clear that you have to know the difference between the two or it'll become a great source of frustration for you. Trying to manage what can be solved and trying to solve what can be managed creates all kinds of pain. Tension, although uncomfortable, is a necessary part of an organizational growth. See, when you stretch a rubber band, imagine the top is your leadership vision and people at the bottom, they don't always have the vision and so the vision's always pulling up, stretching the boundaries of what's possible, daring each person to reach towards the mark, as the Apostle Paul said. At the bottom are the realists. They tend to be more grounded and rooted in what the current status quo is, and at times viewed as unwilling to change because they're stuck in the mire of what they've done before. Tension is necessary to become clear about the path from the bottom to the top. As long as leadership holds strong to the vision, the tension will cause the bottom to eventually rise up. Steve Jobs said it the best. There must always be someone who is the keeper of the vision. When the vision is held, it pulls everything up and the organization is elevated. Yet, if reality prevails, then it pulls the vision down. We must also bear in mind that if we ignore reality, you'll eventually snap the band. See, the gentle working and coaxing of tension is to be managed. Additionally, you must understand that the vision is never really accomplished. It must continue to be stretched so that your team will stretch with you. The tension created is supposed to be energizing. As Martin Luther King said, remember, it's necessary to create a tension in the mind so that individuals could rise from the bondage of myths and half-truths to the unfettered realm of creative analysis and objective appraisal. In other words, what our minds deem possible 
You must harness the tension and leverage it for your success. You must continue to confront the bondage of half-truths and lies that we tell ourselves to justify complacency. You are not unreasonable, you're just a visionary. Stay with it and you will see it come to pass. Well, that's our time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Monday Morning Mastermind, a weekly christ Center video to help you increase your business, advance your career, or grow your ministry. Also, don't forget, if you're not already signed up, be certain to sign up for future Monday Morning Masterminds. If this has been a blessing to you, please share this with others so that they may level up their leadership as well. Either forward it to them or share it to Facebook. We are so glad to have you a part of Leadership of Censored Family, where we equip ministry and business leaders and visionaries like you with the tools, the clarity, and the confidence to hashtag level up their leadership and be a difference maker for the kingdom of God.